Tatiani Kakeke used to be a security guard. It was a dull job. But now he's got a new one in information technology. He's made the change in a place that has gone through its own transformation. This used to be a shipping container. It's been converted into a mobile internet shop that's powered entirely by solar energy. I like my job. I love my job. <laughs> it's interesting. You know, it's good to work with people. Sometimes I have, you know, uh, uh, school kids coming here to, to do their researches. They don't know about Google or uh, anything about the internet. And then I get the chance to say, let's go there, let's do this. You know, it's, it's just amazing, you know. It's the brainchild of South African entrepreneur Peter Graham, who's hoping the showcase prototype creates enough interest for others to buy in. The internet here is free for students, subsidised for adults, and it's the first internet shop in the township. Sometimes when I'm poor, I just come and play games on internet. Uh, I look for the jobs, and then sometimes I come to check my emails, because... It's the only place that I can access my emails. Alexandra is one of South Africa's oldest townships. While parts have improved, large areas have not. Now people can access the internet in their neighbourhood. And if, like today, there's a power cut, and this one started 24 hours ago, the solar-powered shop is still operating. Wesley Shongwe is considering investing in a unit he wants to put in Bloemfontein. At $50,000, it is not cheap. But a Kakeke believes the opportunities it creates make it well worth it. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Alexandra, South Africa.